you are in the village of Salivia. This current village is Salivia. The Kalina territory today it is comprised of eight hamlets. In the Kalina territory, which has a population of about 3,500 people living within the Kalina territory. So our ancestors remain here as fishermen and hunters, and as they travel, they brought plants with them as well. On this side here, we show various aspects of our heritage. They brought plants like cassava, where today cassava is not only we use it as a for making cassava bread or fruit or furring or flour, all of it, but it is looked as a, as a wider commodity here. Also here we have what our vessel here, we call a canoe. This one is a, is a, is a modern version here. We use one of the tallest trees that grows in the rainforest, we call the Guambia tree. And at the back, with the coming of Christopher Columbus, that is when everything changes. Okay, so they are now ancestors fought to protect the land, their properties and their family, and as a result of this, we have the name that was given to us as Carmen. We would be really happy if a lot more focus was placed, let's say primarily, on this facility, because this is built to reflect what traditional Kainago life used to be. It's very challenging. As I mentioned earlier, like for example, like renaming. It's, it's coming on board slow, very slowly. We are sort of trying to get persons to get a Kalinago name. So this is some of the ways we are promoting. Also, traditional knowledge is very important. Mm -hmm. So you may be curious and wonder what plant that is being used for the basket and craft picking. So that's the place that they use with the stems of it or what? Yes, this is the root right here. Welcome to Dominica, the Kalinago territory, and of course the Kalinago Baranago Day. So right now we present to you the basket dance. Share another dance with you, which you call the fishing dance. And this fishing dance want to demonstrate the way the ancestors were going out fishing by using the dog of canoe.
Let's give her a round of applause. And we have Kira, Ketna, and Vida. Our cast, we have Kervin. Oh. On the bass, we have Justin. Of course, I am Joel. Yeah, Joel. So after the water comes out in this grated mayok, we add our sugar, a little salt, some ginger, and coconut. Sometimes we add raisins or other things with it. And we use the barley zeli. So we rest it on, and then we add up the mayok on the, on the leaf. And then you leave it on the fire, on the heat, for at least 10 to 15 minutes. So after the 10 to 15 minutes, the fire is blazing. It is hot. The bread is going to get golden brown. So after the get golden brown, 10 to 15 minutes, it is ready. So right now, that is how we make a cassava bread. Right now we have some samples. And to your right here, we have yeah. this plant here we call bay leaf. Yeah, okay, locally, leaf, yeah. okay, locally we call it warren. And this was one of Dominico's products that we normally export a lot of bay rum and we produce bay oil as well on island. It is widely used in culinary for cooking and also we use them for making coffee. You are on the east coast and as I said, we are on the roughest part of the entire island. We have no harbors, we have no beaches on the side. And this is one of the reasons why it was difficult during the colonial time to come on this side of the island. Most of the time, the Atlantic is very rough. And you may notice of the, the influx of the sargassum seaweed, it does not come ashore that often. So there are no low-lying areas. Uh, if it do, we do use it on small-scale production for composting, where we use the sargassum seaweed as well. 